and you're watching World Insight coming up in the program. Finding calm and comfort in the arts in a time of global upheaval. On that, I got up close with one of China's top performing artists, Jin Shen. Do stay tuned. Welcome back. You're still watching World Insight with me, Tian Wei. The coronavirus pandemic has brought the world on its knees since it broke out nearly a year ago. With economic pain and upended lives, we find comfort and solace in art. This brings to my chat with Jin Xing at the World Economic Forum in Davos in January this year. Jin was one of the four cultural leaders to win a Crystal Award at the World Economic Forum annual meeting. She told me what the award means to her and her young Chinese fans whom she advised to hold on to their dreams. What inspires her to forge on and how does she understand uncertainties in today's world? Let's hear from an artist. Congratulations for the award and your outstanding achievement for bringing and breaking cultural norms. Thank you, thank you. Actually, my, for personally, for I please for the such a recognition, as a, I think it's more meaningful for the my you know fans and following who's uh, looking up to me and see what I'm doing for so many years, mm -hmm. and this is a big uh, you know award for them. That's true, yes. because they see in you what they treasure. Treasure. Yes. Um, one of the things is about your dance group. Yeah. The first ever independent modern dance group in China. Mm -hmm. 20 years. 20 years. Yay. Yes, I was surprised. I was surprised. I looking back, my God, how I can, you know, continue for 20 years independent. That was a very touching moment in the 2019, December 19, 20, these two days I was dancing on stage and I heard my audience and my friend tell me when I was dancing on stage, my husband get the tears in his eyes. Then asking me, I said, why? Then he said, when I see you dancing on stage the moment, I was thinking back, during this 20 years, how many times you want to give up? Every day you're talking about give up, the modern dance company, forget the clothes down, but next morning you're still carrying your dance clothes, go to the studio. Then that's, it, that's the 20 years. Yes. Wow, think about that. Yes. I also heard stories from friends that yes. you had to pick up the pieces you choreographed uh, 20 years ago, yes. and to dance at this stage with yes. that intensity on the stage, yes, yes. what was it like? Well, I think uh, you, of course, this piece I uh, dancing when I was 24 years old. 24 years I choreographed and dancing on myself, and when you are 52, you're dancing exact piece. It's challenging for the physical. Yes. It's dancing, you cannot lie. Your body, your movement on stage, you have to deliver, and the training that moment, of course, my leg not kick the high as when I was 24. I'm not turning that much as 24. But each more movement, they have so much meaning and the substance after 20 years gathering. Why you want to dance this piece again? Why you want to deliver to the audience? What kind of message standing there? Then I think the last scene, I was walking from the backstage yeah. to the front. I talked to all, in my inner voice. I said, I deliver my best performance for you. I'm continue standing on this stage, but I don't know how I keep for 20 years and thank you for being with me. That kind of inner thanks, the moment on stage. Yes. I heard about the uproar of the <laughs> applause in yes. the audience. Yes. Thank you for that, uh, the performances. But you know, when you think about dance and your life, your life has been making so many turns. Yes. You yes. started as a dancer at a very young age. Yes. And then you became very well known in the contemporary dance field, yes. experimental too. Yes. And then you have the transgender yes. uh, operation, mm -hmm. which also make quite a splur yes. in the society. Yes. And then you try to establish everything all at the same time. What was it like for you? One after another. Instead of, I, I choose to be myself, truly myself, that's my own decision. After that, but it's not easy. I know, but everything coming to like a new task to me. Then I said, okay, I make choice. I to do this. I never expecting myself become a TV personalities. But the one the TV portraits need to come to be in the TV show, be a judge and uh, open your own talk show. Then I said, okay, 
because I'm a good communicator. Mm -hmm. You are. Yes, I'm a, I know how to talk with people, even on stage with my body languages. But in, so that's why I said, I want to share my feeling, my experience with the society. I cannot deny it. I'm not living on an island. So that kind of feelings, that kind of communication, you know, always push me a friend. Of course, your personal history experience put you in a very unique position. Mm -hmm. And I think in that moment, I tell myself, just be yourself. People appreciation will be followed later, mm -hmm. but you're not asking for that. So you have the price pay for your own decision, your you know your choices. In retrospect, it's so easy to say. Exactly. But at that time, be able to put yourself out there, <laughs> under everybody's critique. Yeah. How did you go through those moments? I'm sure you were not as crystal clear no, no, at that moment no, as you are today. No, no, so no. what was it like? Instincts. I follow my instincts then I'd be there, but I don't know how to deal with it. And the life, and I'm, I'm lucky enough, I always say that, I'm lucky enough I have a art, dance, and stage helping me overcome so many issues. When I have difficulties, when I have no way out, I have no idea how I can deal with certain issues, I run into my studio, I go into the theater, dancing, performance, then helps me overcome make more clear for myself. Which pieces help the most? <laughs> I think each choreographer, each work, I think, you know, for, the, for example, the, the, my leading dance, I was dancing the half dream, yes. you know? I think we're often facing that in a lifetime, you are half there. The rest of half, you have no control over that, mm -hmm. but you have to facing it. I think that helps me a lot. I'm so blessed that I have a certain art form and the stage and theater always beside me. I'll watch that piece once again to see how mm -hmm. you'll be able to release exactly. yourself in exactly. a way. Yes. You know, in a world of uncertainty, which is the theme of this year's World yes. Economic Forum, you are not only here to talk about your artistic life, no. you're also discussing very actively with every stakeholder. Yes politicians, business leaders, yes. artists, just to say a few. Yes. So what do you make of the uncertainties? You talk about your own personal yes. uncertainties, yes. but what about the world's uncertainty? Yes, in this world economic form, when I'm sitting in the corner, I can see the people flowing by, and you know, the political decision makers, everything, they are the, make a such huge major decisions for the world. But I'm thinking, when we are society, in the modern society, each nation, doesn't matter which continent you come from, when the business, politics cannot communicate and go through, why everybody step back a little bit, let the culture and art maybe get, you have better understanding. That's a great point. Then we have a better understanding why we get them talk. I think that's what, what, what this world economy form bring the artists into this is such economic politics forms. So somehow when the people cannot get in through certain issue, mm -hmm. the art, the culture always a good way to helping better understanding. You know, here you got a lot of positive energy because yeah. people are proactively thinking about things. Yeah. But what about when you go back to your real life? Mm. I mean, everybody's real life. Yes. That you have to deal with the daily issues. Yeah. And sometimes you do have to do this give and take. Yes. What about the choices, the harsh choices we have to make then? Have you ever thought about that? Yeah, question? I think I'd be realistic. You know, you have your, you can purchase your dream, pursue your dream, but, uh, you know, in uh, other hands, you have the real stake, you know, dealing with life. So, for example, I go back, I think about my children's education, mm -hmm. I look after my parents, their health, and also continue how I can develop in the work, the piece, you know, art piece for my dance company. Right. And same time, what's the TV production purchase to me, I know how I make a decision. Do I should go to next production? And how to deal with the paparazzi, exactly. how to deal with all of these negative yes. press, yes, everything. everything. Just dealing with it and, and be yourself. I think everybody finds your own rhythm dealing with yourself. In a highly globalized and digital world, more interactions and cross-border exchanges inevitably take place among epidemic among the academic, scientific, and artistic circles. So well-known artists do wield the influence and shoulder a bigger responsibility as cultural ambassadors of sorts. Jin Xing says she would like to represent China on the world stage to set the record straight amid a pandemic of disinformation. Talking about China, in a way, because you are here also representing China, yes. not only yourself. Yes. So. This is a country so much on the rise. Yes. Earlier, people were curious about it, mm -hmm. but now people are extremely curious about it. Yes. 
So where is China and what is China? I'm sure many people ask you questions related to that. Yeah. Can you maybe help us to explain yes. from your perspective as an artist mm -hmm. and someone who has been doing cultural mm -hmm. communications for decades, mm -hmm. what is China? Yes, I think China, you cannot, this modern days, so each country, each subject, each topic, you cannot deny this word of China. China strongly there. But I'm as artist, as a cultural, like whatever, you know, missionary or ambassador, I can tell the people, in the Western world, you still have a lot of misunderstanding about the real China. You may directly get a business deal with China, mm -hmm. but how much you know this culture at this nation? How much should I know? What should I really know if you, I would ask? We have different cultural behavior, talking about the rhythm. We are doing things different, different tempo. For example, I often say, like, why are you guys sleeping? We are working. Well, you know, sleeping, you are working. A different rhythm. Can we have a better and give more space? In a certain issue in the Western world, quickly solved, but in China, it will take time. I think that kind of understanding should be helps in the future. But on the other hand, China actually very fast yeah. when we are doing things. Of course, of course. That's all the Chinese way. That's why we are so strong today. We have that, 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 the energy, the motivation in our people is very you know, demanding and high. But also, we have also have an elegant culture, you know, sophisticated culture standing behind us. That's very, people didn't see that. I want, as me, as an artist, I was showing that part. Even though it's easier to say, yeah. but there's a lot of issues there, really, what you have yeah, just yeah, mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Every yeah. one of them. Then we have to truly facing that. Don't deny that. Don't try to cheat yourself. I'm not talking to the outside world in the international, also talk to our people. I also talk to my students and my dancers. Actually. You have to honest with yourself. Yeah. I think the truth and honesty, I think that's why I get a lot of audience, you know like communicate with me, yeah. You know, my last question, if yeah. I can, I know you are running on tight schedule, um, dance, yeah. I want to come back to that. Yeah. Where you started, what about that art form? I you know, how, how did you understand it from the very first day of your dancing to today, yeah. you have to run a company, you have to get money, <laughs> you have to do this and then that, make every sure got the salary, yeah. they're happy, and they can dance yeah. and you talk to officials, yeah. what can we put on, make your sure your yeah. groups are going all over the world to perform, yeah. Yeah. have the artists being cultivated. Yeah. But what is dance still to you now? I treasure this language, this uh, body language for the each of the equally for the human being. Everybody have a language. Even you are not professional dancer, you're never on stage, but you have your own language. You're sitting there, you're walking, you're standing there, you're lying there. You have your own language. I treasure this language. I transform this language for me to a key to open to the world, discover the world. I treasure that. I must I often say I'm a blessed. When you start writing, many preparations have to be done. The pen must be prepared carefully, and the ink should put in proper place called the yan tai with water getting smooth, melting together. Then you have to prepare your brush. See, I have a such language in me. Then I want to share and contribute to my society, what am I living? We are also blessed to have an artist like you, Thank to be able to bring us all to ourselves at the same time. Thank you, thank you. I should dance with you one time, yeah, then I feel relieved. Oh, okay, oh, all right. Okay. Jin Sheng, it's such a pleasure. That's all the time we have for today. If you'd like to see more, try to find us, World Inside, or check out our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Tian Wei. On behalf of the team, thanks for watching and bye for now. Thank you.